time when small businesses are really fueling the economy, creating two-thirds of all new jobs, new shops and stores represent growth. But few anywhere open to the buzz you will find in a new South End business. There, some customers come back twice a day. How many donuts are we thinking? I'm going to try one of the little ones. At Blackbird Donuts, the working man's pastry just got a promotion. We have for the selection today some blackberry lavender, chocolate old-fashioned, salted toffee. Open less than two weeks, Boston's only gourmet donut shop already has a fan base. A few of my friends were posting on Instagram and Twitter that they had already been in this morning. So I was like, oh, if everyone else is doing it, I need to come by. <laughs> Let's try two honey lemon pistachio. Donut lovers may have been craving a place like this. Oh, that's good. But owner Rebecca Roth wasn't. We're not donut people. We did not care about sweets. We were not even when her people. general manager called from so Chicago, I'm breathless I'm about eating. donuts like this. She didn't bite at least not right away. But she and her family eventually flew to Chicago. We went to the same donut shop and it was life changing. We had a lemon poppy seed old fashioned that I just had never, I'd never had a donut like that before in my life. And it started this idea. Okay, so how steep was the learning curve with donuts? It's intense actually. People think donuts are donuts, they're not. They are an intense pastry. With, some might say, an intense price, $3 each. Roth points to the process. Dough that takes 24 hours to rise, local ingredients, and a hands-on staff of nine, including two pastry chefs. It's a real collaborative effort, um, and it also requires high-quality ingredients and people. It's worth it. When it's a good donut, it's worth it. Your change. And people aren't just flocking to Blackbird for the donuts or the coffee. Fellow South Ender John LaFleur. We love seeing, you know, small businesses like this come in. It's a boon to the neighborhood. A neighborhood that just got a little sweeter. They're all delicious. It's the new classic in Boston. It's delicious. Okay, but one warning. Don't get there late. Blackbird makes about 2,000 donuts a day and sells out. That is, I'm like wiping the drool <laughs> off the side of my mouth here. And you had a donut. Yeah, yes, I did. I had to have my inner Homer Simpson moment. Of course, yeah. And so I had the sesame sriracha, and it was delicious. Sriracha like the hot sauce? Like the hot sauce. It's their savory okay. donut. And a little bit of news we can break. Rebecca Roth's ne next project, yeah. the Hammersley's restaurant. She's uh, going to be opening a, a place there. Wow. So. Sorry, I'm just nosing my way in because <laughs> and you know, I'm starving over here. Well, and, and I should mention that good. I, I bought some donuts, <laughs> brought them back, and Eric, who loves donuts, had just brushed his teeth. Lisa comes around the corner. She's like, I got donuts in the newsroom. And I literally had a toothbrush sticking out of my mouth. And ah, uh, ah. Uh. So, <laughs> I owe you a donut. All right, I'll definitely stop by. All right. No